Hi, everybody. Um, this is a freestyle Libre video. Um, it is a continuous glucose monitor. So as opposed to pricking your fingers, it's, it's a sensor that stays in your arm. This is my second sensor that I've had on. I need to change it to the third sensor. And the glare, sweet mercy. The glare, sorry. It is available by prescription only. Um, it's good because I can test my blood sugar more than just, I was only doing two finger sticks a day, just two. Um, once before in the morning and once at night, um, my endocrinologist said that I should be doing it before my largest meal and then like one to two hours after my largest meal to see what my blood sugar is. So with this, I can now test it more often. I can see what it's doing throughout the day. And when I'm feeling, I'm hypoglycemic by the way, when I'm feeling my low blood sugar symptoms coming on, then I can, you know, test or see what the level is real quick and make notes or whatever. This is the reader. This costs its own separate amount of money. You push the button. It says check glucose. You scan, and it's almost time to replace it. But it, as you can see, it shows the different levels, which is fantastic because you don't have to keep sticking your finger like constantly. It just automatically does it. And um, it records, you know, it records up to eight hours. So if you go a couple of hours without scanning, it's not too bad as long as you do it within the eight hour window. The only thing that's a downside is when changing the sensor, there's a 12 hour calibration period that you can't get any readings for, for 12 hours. And I spoke to the company as of now for 12 hours, you just won't get any readings, like anything. It's not like you can leave this one in put the new one on for 12 hours and then scan it will start scanning. It, it's, it'll always be, unless they change something, a 12 hour calibration window where you won't have any readings and you will have to stick your finger in order to get what the readings are doing. So, um, with the first one, I removed this in the shower. It was already kind of halfway peeling up, but, um, I like to remove it in the shower, get it nice and sudsy and wet and, you know, pull it off in the shower as opposed to pull it off dry and then I'm like, ow, that hurt. So this is going to stay on until tonight when I get in my shower. They do recommend alternating arms. And what you want to do is it's the upper part of your, of the back arm. So the back part of your upper arm is where you have to put it. Um, I can kind of see where the first one was right here. So that's probably where I'm going to aim to put this one. So you want to check and make sure that the serial numbers match on the bottom. So you want to check and make sure that they match. You open up the bottom part, which is the sensor itself. Take it all the way off. That's there. Then you unscrew this guy. And as you can see, screw this way. Can you see? Oh, not yet. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, then you line this line up with the lightning is not letting me break. But anyway, you have to line it up. There we go. So make sure that they're lined up, set it on a flat surface. I'm working on the table, obviously. And let me double check. Mash it down. You hear the click. Once you hear the click, you're good. Pull it out, and the sensor is there for application. So as you can see, you see the needle kind of peeking out there. You barely feel the needle. Like, just barely feel the needle. Um, going in and you want to make sure that you know exactly where you're going to put it at this is just the alcohol pad oh 
clean the site real good let it dry clean your neck while you're at it use up the alcohol pad i hate that it looks like my neck is dirty but it's really not it's getting dead skin away uh, make sure it's dry make sure you know exactly where you're gonna put it at and i wish i had another mirror how long do you have a mirror to use but i'm not gonna use it um so bear with me as i'm trying to do this in here so once you know where it's gonna go you're just gonna push it in and pull it straight out and hopefully there is no bleeding and stuff with the glare i think i'm going right there yeah that's about where i had it last time huh? Just push it straight in. And I hate this part. I just I don't like needles, which is kind of down. But anyway, and then pull out. Ouch! Whoa! It hurt. It hurt it a little. So the sensor's on. Um. Mm. Angle lie. It does. This one stunk a little. Normally it doesn't. It don't. I mean, it's only my third time doing it, but. It kind of stung. So yeah, once you um once you do that, the needle actually is still in here. So the needle doesn't stay in your arm. And I'll show you a picture of the old one that I took out for this one. Um, the needle does not stay in your arm. It's like a flexible um, strip that stays in your arm. So it's not like, oh my God, there's a needle stuck in my arm for 10 days. And since the last 10 days, it's not a needle stuck in your arm for 10 days. It's the sensor in your arm. Um, the needle is just what pushes it in there with this and then the needle comes out. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty simple. I don't see any blood. I, I did look online and, um, I noticed and even the directions say if it's bleeding and it doesn't stop bleeding, then you need to take the sensor out. Thankfully, with the first time I did it, there was a little bit of blood like around here, which might have been just on me for how I applied it. I didn't hold still enough. Um, this one didn't bleed at all. But I noticed that with internet, like some of the internet searches, some people were bleeding like from the injection site basically. Like there was blood coming out from here. Um, so if you don't have any bleeding, you can see. Don't think that's any bleeding, that's a shadow. Yeah, no bleeding. For there so now um so this is like a half an hour i'm gonna just go on and start this one so it can calibrate and let this one run its course crud oh. i have 24 minutes left 87 and what because they don't have a bluetooth um yeah bluetooth app yet that syncs this to your phone um, before I was using the One Touch Vario, so I've been using the One Touch app to just record what the um, my blood glucose is. Blood glucose is. So I just record it in here, and thankfully with this, it shows the difference. Bold letters means that it's it read the thing by itself. Italics mean that I inputted it, which is fine because it's I mean it's still recording, but um. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to scan this one since this one ends at 41. Check we close. Scan the new one. Starting a, where is it? Starting a new sensor. Would you like to start the sensor? I'm going to click yes. And then the other thing about this is that, um, Yeah, see, 12 hours before it'll start. <coughs> this one's, I'll just stick my finger after I finish eating my food um, to do that. Um, the other thing that I, and I told them they need to improve is the touch screen on this. Um, you cannot use your fingernail or you will damage it. And using the pads of your finger is really tricky on certain areas and screens of the test strip. So it's it's 
a little weird. It's something that they, you know, they still have to work on, which is fine. I can understand that. But um, that's all. So the new sensor is in 12 hours later. So tomorrow morning, I'll be able to scan and start checking my levels. Until then, I have to prick my finger, which I'm not going to do as often as I scan this thing. And then tonight, um, I will just remove this in the shower. And yeah, that's it. So um if you guys have any questions you can feel free to comment and ask me any questions about it um i think it's great i just wish that it didn't cost so much 75 dollars for 30 days uh is it's a lot but um considering the amount of times that i test with it without having to stick my finger it's kind of worth it i just wish that it didn't cost so much otherwise i'll just you know depending on what my endocrinologist says and my primary care says i'll just go back to you know sticking my finger because that was only 50 dollars for 200 strips which is what about 90 days or so of things and test my sugar twice a day i mean i like the convenience of this but the cost makes it less desirable but that was all I wanted to show you guys um there aren't many videos on how to apply it where to apply it like I said I've done mine on the back of my arms both times as you can see third time and um yeah it's it's really simple and now, now it doesn't hurt it's just that initial ping but uh yeah so if you are looking into this whatever Ask your doctor um, if he can prescribe it. Talk to your doctor about it. Don't ignore symptoms of hypo or hyperglycemia or diabetes because this is really for people with diabetes so that they can continuously monitor their glucose levels because they stick their fingers way more than I do. Um, you know, this is the future. It's looking bright. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.